Hey Art Nerd, so I just recorded a video, an inky video about using dip pen nibs, and I thought I would record a follow-up for cleaning them. So in my time as a fountain pen enthusiast, I have discovered Pen Flush, and this is specially formulated to work in fountain pens and clean dried gunk and gook and nasties from your fountain pens, but it can also work really well as a cleanser for your dip pen nibs. So I have a solution of pin flush and water. And I have these little trays to help me keep my nibs somewhat organized. You can also use rubbing alcohol to clean your nibs. You don't wanna use pure water and you don't wanna leave them for too long. If you're gonna leave them, rubbing alcohol is the way to go. Um, because a lot of these pins will start to rust. So I am just putting them in the water these are going to need some help because they want to fall but you really need to clean your nibs between uses because leaving ink in your nib will ruin it and this pin flush is doing a pretty good job of cleaning my nibs. I guess I need to order some more. And these will not stay. Anyway, I'm going to grab a paper towel, but a soft cloth would also probably be an excellent idea. I'm also going to go grab some tiny little alcohol wipes. All right, so we're just going to start removing these one at a time and just cleaning them off on the paper towel and using the alcohol wipes when feasible to clean out the crevices. And we wanna go with alcohol because it will not rust. I think you can also get away with using Windex, but I'd have to double check. So unfortunately, maybe don't take my word for it. Move that to a different compartment since it basically clouded up that one. This one I will probably have to soak in pin flush longer because I have a theory that I didn't do a great job cleaning the pointed part last time. So I think there's probably a lot of ink trapped inside. And some of these, the handles are so light, they don't want to stand for me. They will not stand for this. Anyway, with a lot of inks, especially India inks um, and acrylic inks, your alcohol wipes will dissolve a lot of that. And if it's stubborn, you can leave it in a solution of rubbing alcohol overnight and agitate it to like loosen the particles. and you want to let your nibs dry out thoroughly before you put them away. Again, we just want to discourage rust as much as possible. And it's just really good practice to clean your nibs right after use. And I know a lot of my nibs look grungy, like on the inside of this one. It's often not anything a little rubbing alcohol won't cure. You don't have to use these handy little surgical wipes, medical wipes. You can, I mean, you can, they're great. And you can get them on Amazon or even at Walgreens. They're not hard to find, but even like a spray bottle and some paper towels can go a really long way. And there is probably no salvaging 
this annoying crow quill. Part of the problem is I did a panel at Nokus Fest on inking and I thought it was going to be a lot of adults and teenagers and it was really a lot of very very young children like there was a three-year-old who wanted to ruin all of my toys because she didn't understand and her mom wasn't really watching her so that's probably what happened to this maybe be, be really careful about letting a three-year-old play with your inking supplies Anyway, it's like a dollar crow quill, so I'm not super out. I just hope I can bring the rest of them back up to snuff because it would really be a shame me donating my time just results in me getting punished with a bunch of broken art supplies. That is why people who do that and get paid to do that on a regular basis have like an entirely different set for classroom use. But unfortunately, if I'm paying for that out of pocket, sorry, pocket, and volunteering to do these sort of things, I can't afford to purchase all that. So we could remove the cage on this Mitchell. I think that's, that's a cage I put on there. We're getting most of the gunk off. And they meet, um, eat, ugh, bidi bidi bidi. Uh, they don't have to be like showroom perfect. I'm not a big believer in like art supplies should always look like they were brand new. I'm also not a big believer in the old surgeon's myth of like being covered in blood means you're a great surgeon. Uh, that was before the times when people understood germs. But I do want my supplies to be in working order and I do want to get the best performance out of them I possibly can. You can also, so nibs come with oil on them to help protect them from zoom in on that help protect them from rusting in the package like from humidity uh, you can use these alcohol wipes to remove that oil because that oil is going to resist your ink and it's gonna make your nibs perform really strangely and really poorly oh yeah I need to clean these too I mean you dip them in water in between to help keep the ink from drying on them. But a good, okay, so that's empty. A good thorough cleaning is a good idea as well. When you want to get as into the cracks and crevices as you can, because with some of the nicer nibs, like some of the Japanese nibs, you can get years of use out of them if you just handle, clean them up regularly, handle them properly. I'm gonna clean the handles too in a minute. And you don't wanna leave your nibs just sitting in water either, especially the tank nibs. You really gotta be careful with the nibs that have a cage on them because they will trap ink in there and they won't work properly and also the little spring is made of a different material than the rest of the nib and it may start to rust so it's I think they're worth it I enjoy having like a massive ink capacity and that's what they offer but I also just want you guys to be aware that they do add a new challenge Personally, I think it is a worthwhile challenge. But I just want you guys to know that you can't just treat it like you would any, any old nib. And taking care of your art supplies is as important a part of being an artist, in my opinion, as, you know, learning how to draw and practicing because they're going to last you. Sometimes those of us who do recordings on YouTube, we don't have, things go so quickly, we don't have as good an opportunity to clean our stuff. And it also may give the impression that we don't because you don't see us doing it, so. 
don't want you guys to think that. And I also want to demonstrate proper care because that's going to add to the longevity of your supplies. And even if I did have a sponsor who is an art supply store, I wouldn't want you to have to replace your toys all the time. And I'm going to leave these out to dry after I finish cleaning them. And I know you guys have basically gotten the gist right now. This isn't a difficult concept, but I enjoy the company. And it also gives me some entertainment while I'm cleaning up these nibs. And it's a good reminder to order more ink flush. And I learned a lot about inking and nib care and brush care and how to fix brushes and how to fix nibs while I was a grad student at SCAD. But I've also learned a lot from um, becoming a fountain pen enthusiast. There's a lot of stuff they do which works for these kind of nibs too. We're almost done. So anyway, I hope you guys found this little cleaning tutorial. Probably need to try really hard to get this tank clean because this tank is just a disgusting mess. So actually what I'm going to do, is I have a, not really enough pin flush, but we'll use it anyway. I'm going to go get a vial that I can put my little, my little tank in and we're gonna sat, uh, soak it in pin flush and hopefully get a lot of this really old ink off of it. So this is not what I wanted to use. I wanted to grab a sample vial for fountain pen inks, but I don't have any handy. So I'll just have to roll with it. It's gonna make retrieving my tank a little difficult. There we go. That's our pin flush. This might actually work really well for soaking some of my other stubborn, stubborn inking toys like this folded pen. We'll probably need to support it because it's probably gonna be top heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna let that soak for today. And then I'm gonna drain it and uh, try to clean it up. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. I highly recommend you check out my other inking playlists here on this channel. There's loads of good stuff. And if you're looking for more information about inking with a nib or inking with a brush pen or inking with a brush, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. And since we're talking about ink and it is Inktober, what, and you, if you like comics, you should head on over to inkdropcafe.com and check out our wonderful free to read web comics. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.